Hello, my darlings. Happy Thursday to all of you. And welcome back to Let's Build the Worlds. And welcome to the final part of the Hargroves today, darlings. This has been a hot titty minute doing this build. I think three to four weeks this has taken us. And we're complete. We're finally done. Today, what we're going to be doing is the recording studio area and just various other little pieces. We're going to go through each room and just sort of see if we need any kind of extra little details here and there. I don't think we do. So it might be a bit of a short part today, but we are going to do a bit of a tour at the end as well, just to see this um, build come together as it has been for the last few weeks, darlings. Also, in just a sec, what I'm going to do, I've had a few of you ask if we could do like a map overview of what we've already done with Willow Creek at the minute. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to flop in to the map view before we go and start doing the recording studios. And I'll just give you a little overview of everything. Two more lots left after this one, Starlings. Cannot believe it. We'll get cracking with those next week and then we'll be complete to move on to Brindleton Bay. I cannot believe it. I'm so excited and I bloody can't wait. Yes. Anyway. We're going to flop on over and let's have a little look at the map view and then we'll go ahead and start building. So here we are at the map of Willow Creek. Obviously, we are on this lot over here, which is the Hargroves. Absolutely stunning. Um, this is obviously the more elite area, the Chateau Baptiste over that way as well. Another celebrity home. So it's kind of the celebrity area, this one. Then we've got obviously the more... Um, yeah, the more kind of like privileged families, I would say. Um, bigger houses, a lot more money living in this area. The Rosenbergs, that's where we first started. Um, down to the goth residence as well. Obviously, Bella is missing. We don't know where she is. Um, we've got McCarthy's there. We've also got the Ralston's there. Um, and then down into this area here where we're going to be working on. We've got two more lots to do. Now, disappointing. Disappointing because Harmony Larkin... I made their father, I made her dad to move over into this lot here. And I kind of like didn't play around with him much. Sounds a bit filth. But he's disappeared. <laughs> he's disappeared from her genealogy. He's gone. He's absolutely gone. I was going to move him in there with his family. Do you know what I'm going to say? He bloody buggered off. He buggered off, left her, didn't even tell. No, he did. He, he, he moved away to somewhere else. Moved away to somewhere else. So I've got another family in mind that I'm going to be moving into this lot here instead, rather than Harmony's dad. It was just a bit awkward, them living across the street from each other. That's the um, storyline and I'm sticking to it. And then this last lot here, which we're going to be doing as well, is just going to be a rental unit, like an Airbnb unit. I really wish that Sims could own like rental units and rent out houses to other Sims and be like a landlord. I would love that. I really would. Um, then obviously we've got this um, neighborhood down here, which is a little bit more of the not underprivileged, just they haven't got as much money as everybody else, really. Um, and we've got some iconic characters. We've got Kylie and Dave going in there. We've got the Romies going there, darlings. The Dobson family there. Um, Abbott's. And of course, the Ashton sisters in that one there as well. And then over here, obviously, I'm a bit in the way here. We've got the Creek Cabana. We've also got Bob's Pancake House going in here. We have got um, the Vet Clinic, which is owned by Renee Larkin. And we've got the Chateau Petit. The Baptiste Boutique, which is owned by the Baptiste family as well. And then obviously the park in the middle. But that's it. I can't believe we're nearly done with this. I'm so excited about starting Brindleton Bay. You do not know, darlings. I'm very, very excited. But um, yeah, this save file will be out as soon as I'm... Well, not as soon as I'm done. Because what I want to do is do a few Let's Plays. Maybe three kind of Let's Plays. Just playing around with all the characters. Getting Bella's storyline kind of coming through. What happened to her? Where is she? What went on? All of that kind of good stuff. And then what I do is release the save file with an overview video like I have done for my past two ones as well. And then we'll go on and do Brindleton Bay. But yeah, you asked for a map overview. Here it is. Let's crack on and let's finish the last part of the Hargroves. Did nearly forget the name then, I won't lie. Right, here we are then, darlings. Back at the Hargroves house now. A few little changes from last time. Just a few more details that you guys really wanted to see kind of added in. So we added in a nice little champagne bucket in the um, nightclub area, which I thought was a really, really cool idea. Also, um, some of the objects as well from the bowling pack made a lot of sense to put them there too. Is that cutting into the wall there? Oh, it is. I don't like that. Come out here, darling. How very dare you? How very dare you indeed. 
and I'll put these just down below the TV area there. Oh, stunning. And then a little lava lamp. You guys wanted to see a cheeky little lava lamp in this room. So I put one up on that little pedestal there. Very nice. It does make the water look behind like there is piss in it. But we're just going to go ahead and just, you know, just, you know, just, just go with it, to be honest. So obviously today we are going to be doing the recording studio area. A few of you guys are like, there's no toilets down here. You, I haven't finished yet, darlings. These two here was left for that reason. They're going to be toilets. So there will be toilets for all of this area down here downstairs. I've made sure of that. Um, and we'll probably put a few more details in here as well. Maybe some lighting in the vault area, I think would be a good idea. I've also added a security camera on that bit and on the outside there. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Nothing. Nothing. Let's crack on. Let's get started. Let's do that. Let's do it. So recording studio. I need to pull out a few bits because it needs to have kind of media production and everything kind of in here um instruments pianos all of that kind of good stuff i do want to do like a stage area as well really and also an area where they can all just come in and chill out and like maybe watch a bit of tv as well like that kind of vibe so i might have to extend this room slightly if i can or i can which is great um so let me pull a few bits here a few, few bits out and then we'll get started okay here we go now ignore the lighting in here i've just lit it up so we can kind of see what we're doing at the minute and i've pulled out a variety of musical pieces that i think would just look really cool in a recording studio the mix master station this like stage thing but i just thought it looked kind of production wise i thought it was quite good piano expensive violin microphone and two guitars stunning now i want to do like a little recording booth over here so like a kind of production area but then also, I would love to do like a, I don't know whether to put like them in a separate little booth where they could do a bit of singing. Do you know what I mean? Like a, like a recording bit. I don't know whether to like do that over at this point here. I was thinking about raising this area up on a platform as well, like all of this. So if we can do one there, one there and one there. And then open this bit here up. So they kind of have to step up to get into these spaces. Kind of feeling that vibe, to be honest with you. Kind of feeling that vibe. I do want to get a little bit of this wooden paneling in here. So I'm wondering whether to panel these parts here. Panel these parts like that and like that. So it kind of ties in with the house quite nicely. Yeah, I think so. That's just added something in there. but And I like it. Nice windows here as well. I'm sure what windows to use. I'm thinking maybe the snowy escape ones would probably work quite well on here. I do. Now, my loves, something has happened. Something very dramatic. Um, I turned my heating on for the first time today. <laughs> drama, I know. Drama, drama, drama. <laughs> but I'm so happy. I'm so happy that autumn is finally here. <laughs> Autumn is finally here and I was able to turn on my heat in this morning and I've never been so made up in all my life. Never been so made up in all my life. I've got a jumper on today and I'm, fe I'm feeling my vibes. I'm feeling my vibes. So happy autumn, everybody. Happy spooky month indeed. Now, as from next week on Twitch, it's going to be all spooky related. Spooky related builds, spooky related um, games. I'm going to be playing horror so if you do want to come and join us, then feel bloody free. Feel bloody free, darlings. Uh, I'd be very... I'd love it if you could. I would love it if you could come and join us. Now, do I want to wrap these around here as well and have like a glass door next to it? I think I might, you know. Because then they can kind of see... Do you know what I mean? They can kind of see into that room. So when if someone's singing in there, yes, the reflections are a bit much. But they might be able to just see them, you know? I'm thinking that kind of vibe might work. Is that one lower? You are, you little shit. Get up there, thank you. And you as well. Lovely. We'll cover that in a minute as well. Guys, I can't believe we're on the last one of this. I've enjoyed this one. This has probably been my favourite build out of Willow Creek. And I know a lot of you guys have said that it's been your favourite as well. So that makes me very moist. Very moist. And I'm very happy that you've been enjoying it as much as I have. It's been, it's been a scream, loves. It really has. It's been an absolute dream to do this. Absolute dream. Okay, so we'll get this one in here. Let me see where... Yep, that's absolutely fine. I'll probably get this one in here as well. Um, Or I could put this one on the back wall. I mean, do they use this for anything? I think they just use it for 
I don't know. I've done, I'm unsure if they actually use this. And I don't know why the arrows are on the other side either. That's a bit weird to me. Because surely they would go on this way. I've no idea. But we're going to put that one there, I think. I have no idea how, like, recording studios work. I'm not really looking forward to, and looking to get as much massive realism in this part as possible. So if I'm doing things wrong, we're just going to have to let it be, loves. You're just going to have to let it be. This is The Sims, after all, you know? This is The Sims indeed. Oh, yes. Yes, that looks nice. I do enjoy that. I think we should have some kind of computer here as well. Now, I need to get some doors in just in case um, I forget, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> uh, you might feel that I've perked up my steps today. It's because I have. I feel much better today. Yesterday, I thought I was better. Turns out I wasn't. I was feeling like death. I was feeling like death. So, yep, four-day hangovers are a thing. Well, there's not four. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday... Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Not too bad. Three days. Three days we can let that slide. It's absolutely fine. Yeah, we'll use these glass doors. Now, I know the sound would probably bounce off the glass and stuff and cause it to distort. But again, we're not looking for that much realism, darlings. We're just playing around, you know. We're just playing around. So a little moment in there like that. Blue snorting in the background then. Um, and I think I'm going to get some speakers in here. Maybe we could use these in here as well. I mean, it wouldn't make sense, but maybe they could, like, want to hear it back or something, hear their voices back. Uh, I have no idea, but we're going to put that in there anyway, just to make it look extra recording studio-ish. That is the vibe today. Extra recording studio-ish is the vibe that we're going for. And I think I am going to do, like, a stage area. I wish we had drums and everything, everything that go with, like, a pop band. That would be so cool. So, so cool. We'll stick a couple of... Um, instruments back here as well violin and a guitar we'll take this one we'll take the acoustic one and then we'll leave the blue one for on the stage i think that would be a good vibe a good vibe yeah yeah i'm feeling that okay right a little computer here as well little computer here uh right here we go um it needs to be a small desk really because of the door so it needs to be like a one tile desk and we haven't really got much of them have we saying that we could use a dining table instead we could use like a nice little one tile dining table let's have a look what could we use in here we'll probably go for the glass to be honest with you because it would go with the other objects that are here do we have a more no don't want to match in with that no it's probably that one there's the best isn't it yeah we'll use this one and i'll put a laptop on this so it's like easy carried and they can just sit down and write a bit of music and whatnot as well you know and I'm probably going to want to put the chair around this orientation rather than there. So chair wise, let's get into there and just have a little cheeky chair. Just a cheeky chair, you know. Um, it probably want to be something a bit more like this, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, that door will open fine there. I could probably push this in even a little bit more. I could, which would give us a little bit more room. Yeah. Yeah, and then a nice expensive laptop on it. What's the most expensive one we've got here? Oh, the Dream Home Decorator one. Oh, God, they're all vile colours, though, aren't they? Oh, I'm not into that. I don't want a gold one, darling. I don't want a bloody gold one. Oh, they're all gold. Gold! They're all gold. Oh, that one there's the same price. Oh, God, this comes in fucking... Of course it does. It's The Sims, Aiden. What do you expect? They like to put stupid bloody colours on everything, don't they? Oh, God. God, my lord. I'm just going to use that one. That one there. I mean, it's disgusting, but I'm using it anyway. Ugh, I hate the way it's looking. Mm, can we go darker with it? There we go. That's a bit better. Gold and black. Yeah, kind of into it. Okay, right. I'm going to take these lights away from here now. And I want to moodily light up the place. And I also want to put some like, maybe some awards and stuff in here, but I'll probably do that in the, the guest kind of, well, not the guest, but where they sit around, have a bit of lunch, have a chill, maybe a con a games console or something down here. You know, that kind of vibe. But let me find a nice wall light for these two rooms. I decided to go for these. They kind of look like acoustic panels as well, which, yeah, base game ones. Don't really use these much, and I should really, because they're not that They're not that bad. They're not that bad, and the swatches are interesting. They are. They're not too bad, actually, the swatches. Ugh, that purple, though. Ugh, not feeling that. 
Um, and then I decided to do some of these up here as well, which maybe they were articles from their favorite magazines, NMA, you know, Kerrang, that kind of vibe. Uh, and I'm going to go for it. Absolutely go for it. So we need to make a little mini stage area, really. So what I want to do is I'm going to get a little fence, little cheeky, cheeky little fence. This one here, darling. Get that grid on. How big can we make this? It doesn't need to be massive. Maybe I could have like a little stage area here. And then I'll go to there and then whiffle it across to there as well. And I'll lift that up one. We'll change the um, the flooring here as well, I think. I think we'll maybe put a bit of wood in here. I think that could be a vibe, actually. Let's do that. So let's get that grid off now. Get rid of that. Get rid of you as well. You are not no longer invited right there and there. Stunning. Use that same little platform across there. Lovely. Let me see what we've got here beautiful absolutely beautiful i might get a grand piano in here that might take up a bit a bit much space though but we're gonna try have i still got nope i was just about to say have i still got city living i was looking for i could have sworn um that there was this poster with some with a guitar on and i can't remember what pack it was from but i couldn't find it couldn't find it it was too bloody late now too bloody late dot com oh god <laughs> don't ever say that aiden again I, it reminds me of M. Catherine Tate when she said, when Nana, Nana from Catherine Tate, who was an icon. Um, So, piano, that's what I was searching for. Activities and skills. In here, let's get rid of debug and live edit, please. Thank you. Let's see if we can fit a grand piano up here. I mean, we can actually. I didn't think we were going to be able to. I'll have to whiffle it. I'll have to whiffle it over this way a little bit more. And maybe pull it a little bit more to the edge there. Ignore the lighting as well. We haven't done anything with the lighting yet here. Let's pull it even a little bit more further forward. Yes, where they can sit and jam. They might even do a recording session out here as well. Uh, we definitely need another microphone. So I'll do another microphone here. Another microphone here. This could be where the band maybe practices, does a practice run of their live shows and stuff. Kind of into that vibe. Uh, we'll pop you next to there. I'm going to bring another pair of those speakers out here as well. I'm going to pop these like into the corner, I think. If I can whiffle them in a little bit tighter. Stunning. Oh, oh for it. Yes. Yes, I'm feeling it. Feeling the vibe. Obviously, the lighting needs to change here. I don't know what kind of lights I want to do. I might stick to these, you know, because I do like the soft glow that you get from these. I did size them down inside, but I don't think I need to out here. I could probably do a couple of them on the stage, to be honest with you, in that kind of size. Yeah. And every recordio, 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 every recording studio that I've ever seen in kind of like documentaries and stuff, they're always very dimly lit. Um, don't know the reasons, the science behind that. Does music sound better in the dark? <laughs> no idea. Absolutely no idea. But that's what we're going to go for anyway. Now, these were the trophy cabinet. I want to get some awards in here. So I'm going to do this wall of awards along there, I think. Um, we'll get rid of this light here. I might still have to do, now that I've got rid of that light, I think I'm going to have to, because this light is quite soft, isn't it? But I want to, I want to use these. Um, I'm going to put one there and one right on the edge so I can fit a TV in the middle there. And then I think what I need to do is bring some of these in here just to give a little bit more of a fainter glow so we are going to be building in the dark for the for the majority of the rest of this darlings but you know you've just got to do these things sometimes some sometimes seriously <laughs> seriously to god right here we go we'll flop all of you to there i'm going to do another one here as well next to this door um one more like that there and I might do two more on this stage as well, actually. We'll do them just underneath of here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, that kind of vibe. That kind of glow in here, I think, is very record recording studio-like. Now I need to find some trophies. I think if I just tech search for trophies, they, can they come up. I could be wrong. No, they do. Where's the one that looks like a Grammy? Oh, maybe I need to put on... I do. I think I need to put on... Live edit and debug. Here we are. Oh, there we are. The annoying air horn trophy. Maybe these could be Grammys. I'm into that vibe. Yeah, let's do all Grammys. All Grammys along here. 
Stunning. Oh, and maybe a Brit Award. We need a Brit Award. Where's... Oh, there we go. That looks like a Brit Award. Stunning. Oh! 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 What's it? What? How uncouth. How very uncouth. <laughs> How uncouth. Sim team, I'm proud of you, actually, for that. I won't lie. <laughs> I won't lie. I won't lie, darlings. Proud of that. Didn't even realise that was a thing. Little nubbin. Little nubbin hanging out then. <laughs> Not a nubbin. Right, yeah, we'll use this one. we use that one there. And I think what I'm going to do is... I think it might be in surfaces. We'll look in surfaces for that modular. Yeah, there's these businesses. Businesses here. Oh, I forget. It's, oh, no, that kind of goes in here. I thought that was going to look absolutely shit and it doesn't. So I'm going to flop those three together there. Yes. Yeah, I'm into it. I'm into it. I still think they need to have a stereo in here as well of some description. Um, Not a jukebox, not anything like that. Something like this. Oh, did you hear my toe click then? She's back. Oh, look at all of you. Oh, off the charts music award. We've already got an award, darlings. We've already got an award. So maybe I'll get rid of one of their Grammys. Oh, shit. How do I get rid of them in there? How do, how, oh, there we go. Where's it gone? Come here. There we go. There, he's got his own music award. He's got his own music award. Stunning. Oh, beautiful. Do you know, that needs to be lit somehow. And I'm thinking putting these above here might actually... Oh, there we go. That's nice. Yeah, we'll do like one there and then one in the middle of that one as well. Well, not in the middle, but... Eh, why does that look weird? Maybe I should... Um, Maybe I should overlap them. Does that glitch out? Not really, no. Yeah, we'll overlap them. We'll do like a row. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that's lit up to the gods. That is, darlings. Yeah, I'm into it. Absolutely into it. Did get distracted because I saw that music award, but I do want a stereo down here. Now, we did have one of these, but I think I used it somewhere else, but I'm going to use it down here as well. Little nice stereo. I think it would work quite well there, to be honest. Kind of in front of, unless I can squeeze it in there a bit. I mean, I could just move that along and squeeze you in there, to be honest. Oh God, platforms. Maybe not. No, that's stupid. Just put it where it was, Aiden. That's fine. It's absolutely fine there. I'll put it in front of this one. There we go. And then we need a nice, like, seating area where they can all sit and chill. I would have liked a little, like, mini kitchen or something down here, but it's just, just going to ruin the vibes if I put it anywhere, to be honest. It will ruin the vibes, and I'm not into ruining vibes. This is not a place for ruining vibes. Um, maybe I'll do it on the outside. I can do vending machines. <gasps> yeah. Yes, we'll put vending machines in here. Yes, we'll do that. We'll do that. Vending machines, little mini fridge as well on the outside. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. So, in here, um, I think we'll go for the vibe that we had on the outdoors. Where we can... Let me get this grid on so I can kind of see what we're working with here. If I can do like one there. Then maybe another one there. No, that's not right. What am I trying to do? Who am I? What's my name? Uh, I think I'm going to do one there. I hate that that's behind there, but oh well. One there. Back into this. Then we're going to do a little corner moment like that. Stunning. Excuse you. Thank you. There. And then... Hmm. Maybe not, actually. Maybe. I think I'm going to do two separate sofas now I'm thinking about this. Oh, oh, I kind of like that kind of vibe. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that rather than having like an end piece on this bit. I'm going to have like a little seat moment. Yes, I'm into that. Okay. Uh, and next we need to go on to the other side now, which is this one. Stunning. A nice little middle moment as well. This is not in the right position, but that one is. So you need to move down, darling. And then doing the same here as well. I think I can just use that same one, can't I? Yeah. Little middle moment like that as well. Oh, yes. Oh, do you know what? I'm here for... Oh, do you know what? Do you know what, darlings? I've had, a, I've had a thought. If we can do this, get rid of that one there as well. Stunning. 
whiffle that along like this. Interesting so for that. Very interesting. But I'm going to go with it. I kind of like that. I won't lie. And then I think table-wise, that Moschino, like flat table. Do you remember the one? Do you remember the little cheeky one? Was it a coffee table, was it? Oh, no, it's here, look. Oh, yes. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Each side, each side there. Why is this showing? I don't... Go away. What's... What is this? Oh, it's gone. <laughs> what was that about? Why was it doing that? Stop it at once. Stop it at once. <laughs> yeah, I think like that. And then a nice console down here. We'll do a white console. Uh, and I'll put this just off to the side in case they want to chill out, play some games. You know, that kind of vibe. I'm into this. Very much into it. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy with how this looks. I'm happy with how the recording studio looks, darlings. It's got that. It's definitely got a recording studio vibe. Do you know what I mean? It's got that recording studio vibe and I'm living for it. I forgot to... Oh, we need to do vendor machines out here as well. I've also put pictures and stuff out here. I'm not going to do any furniture down here at all. I just don't think it would make sense down here. Um, Are they called vending machines? Vending. Text search for vending. Oh, here we go. Look. Um, Hot Eats vending machine. Can we change the colour? Oh, we can. Thank God for that. Um, don't you have to have like a bit of leeway or something? Oh, I can't be asked. We're just going to push you in. We'll do a vending machine. And then what I'm going to do is a mini fridge. A cheeky little... Let's get rid of debug and live edit. Thank you. Let's get one of the nice ones. A cheeky little fridge there. And then I'm going to put a little... Do you want to do a microwave on top of it? Hmm. Maybe. In case they want to eat something on the go, you know. I mean, they've got a vending... We'll just pretend the vending machine's free as well. I mean, they've got enough money to go around. They've got two and a half million here. And they've got five million in the vault, darling. Five million in the vault. Now, I think the final touch is in the vault area. I'm going to add in some more of these red lights. I'm going to add some more of these in. So I'm going to do one here. I'm going to do one on this side as well. We'll do one more there. And one more. I oh, know we'll just keep one there because there's a camera on that bit. I think that will suffice for there. We obviously need to do the toilets as well. So we'll do some more lighting. We'll do one each by the door. We'll size one down, do one there. And the same on this side as well. And here as well. Beautiful. And beautiful. Beautiful and beautiful. Now, we've got wood in there. I think we'll change the wood out for tiles. We'll do tiles in these parts. We'll still keep the panelled wood on the back. It's fine. And we're going to use the same toilets as what we've used absolutely everywhere. Um, forgot, to all, all, forgot to almost say as well. Um, I did furnish this little area off of camera too. Um, including around here and this toilet down here. And this little entrance entranceway. Lit the garage up properly. Put some lockers in. It's just all coming together, darlings. It really is. Right, we'll get you down there and the sink too. Stunning. And we'll also get the mirror down here while we're down there as well. Lovely. Stunning, stunning. Right, we're going to do one there. One there. Beautiful. Toilet. We don't need any toilet roll with this because it's a B-day. It will wash your bum off. <laughs> Which is an absolute treat. I've done them in the wrong places. Let's do them that side instead. And then you there as well. Right into the corner, darling. Oh! Oh, for it. Same here. So at least we've got some toilets down on this level as well now. And we'll just leave it off with a little final touch. Um, which is going to be a hand towel of some descript. Yeah, like this. So we've got a black one down here. Oh, beautiful. There we go. Stunning. Stunning. I mean, I'm happy. I'm happy. I know we said we were going to do final touches, but I've been through every room with a fine tooth comb. And I think it's going to be fine. I don't think we need to now, to be honest. Now that I've got those final details in, I don't think we need to go through it and put any more details into an already over-detailed lot. So, let's have a little tour, shall we? Let's have a tour. The final time 
of the Hargroves. Now, when you're watching this, this will be up on the gallery as well. I will pre-warn you, because there is 5 million simoleons in the vault, the lot value here is 5,428,000. Now, I don't know if that will reflect when I put it up on the gallery or not. I'm unsure about that. But very expensive house. <laughs> very expensive house. <laughs> so here we go. Oh, God. Oh, oh, the frame rate. The frame rate from this build. So obviously, this is the front entrance. We've got the front entrance. We've got the little security hut there as well. Um... Stunning. We obviously got a garage. Well, a little carport area there. Garage over that side. Very highly secure, this area. Very highly secure. Come around into the garden. Got the little toddler area over here. Down into the garden, the actual gardening area. Um, basketball court. Absolutely beautiful. With a peen. Just saying. Um, let me get some better lighting back here, please. Thank you. Uh, nice little natural pond coming up. Excuse me. <laughs> Did anybody ever do that? Like, have a hiccup and a burp. And it does that to you. Very weird. Then we've got the outdoor kind of entertaining and dining space down there as well. Outdoor kitchen. Um, we have also got this little pit area here, which is absolutely beautiful. Lovely little sun lounging moment here overlooking the big pool with a sun lounging moment in the middle as well. That interconnects through to the guest suite over that side. Um, I'll try not to move around too much because I know people get motion sickness. Um, into the gym. So into the home gym, complete with treadmills, um, weightlifting machine, the punch bag, whatever that's called. I have no idea. Uh, into the home spa as well, complete with everything that you would need, including a fridge with some face masks in. Oh, look at that lighting. Hello, darling. Um, absolutely for that. Then it's obviously got a little shower going on here where you can wash yourself and your bits and bobs off. Um, out onto this level here. Oh God, well, we need to sort that. It's a good job I've seen that, darlings. <gasps> good job I've seen that. I would have put this up with wallpaper missing. Awful, awful awfulness. Um, it's got a sauna in that pot there, a toilet in here as well. So you can go out for a poo or a pee outside, which is stunning. Then we've got the outdoor bar area, complete with built-in built wine coolers or wine cellars. I didn't want to do a wine cellar in this lot at all. I've, I've seen a few people say that and I was just like, I don't want to do that. So I didn't. Um, they've got them outdoors, so it's absolutely fine. Um, their at-home spa that they've got, their natural spring, stunning. Can't say that's very natural myself, but you know. Into the first guest suite. So in here we come into the first guest suite. This one dips down level nice i'm into that vibe in there very much into that um and then across into the other room over here as well this one here goes up a level onto the, a nice little platform stunning 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 um they've both got bathrooms as well so they're both en suite um let's go through to the front door we'll make our way through the front and up the stairs that way in through the front entrance in through the front entrance we've obviously got like a double story height moment going on up here with a lovely skylight above it too um lovely stone walls and everything in there beautiful you come through this way that is into the garage so the garage goes and connects into there um and then we've got a toilet in here as well beautiful full bathroom full guest bathroom in here is obviously the gallery area slash kind of like interview room where they get all of their interviews and stuff done um, we'll go down to the basement. We may as well. We're down here now. Um, let's get right down into the basement though, please. So there we go. Basement level. Down into another little gallery moment we've got going on. This is double story height, but we can't. Sh I can't show you because it just goes up there. And then I yeah, can't get down. Um, home cinema. Home cinema area. Um, enough for big parties in here to come and watch some films. Complete with popcorn machines. Bar. Bloody hell, this house has got a lot, hasn't it? Now, a utility room. So this is where the butler or the maids do all of their washing, clothes washing, all of that business. Stunning. Great work. Um, Through here, through the big double doors. Going into here was just the bowling alley, which is what we did very, fairly recently. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. Lovely bowling bit. I did play a test that to see it all works, and it does. And then we've got the home nightclub as well. The home nightclub, DJ booth, bar. The whole shebang. The whole shebang, darlings. Everything goes down in there. All the naughtiness. Two toilets that we've just furnished. Boop-de-de-boop. -de -de -boop. 
simple as. Then we've got obviously the vault through two doors into the actual vault itself. Full of five million simoleons, darlings, and necklaces and a big fat diamond there as well. Beautiful. Um, through this way. Um, where am I? <laughs> where am I? I'm getting lost. This is obviously what we've just done. So it's the recording studio, complete with stage area, little chill out nook for all the musicians and producers and what have you. Beautiful job. Beautiful, beautiful. Right, now we're going to go back upstairs. Obviously, this is the entrance here. It's got that double story height moment that we've got going on. Up into this level. Um, the first room on this side, I think, is a bathroom. Yep, so we've got a lovely little private little bathroom on this side. Lovely jubbly. That's room into the main living space. This is one of the guest bedrooms as well. So it's another bedroom, complete with an ensuite in that side. Beautiful. Um, going through into the dining room open fire beautiful view from the dining room i absolutely love that view there i think that's so pretty oh i might make that my final thumbnail actually that would make a nice final thumbnail moment because i just i'm vibing with that absolutely vibing um in here is the library slash kind of like toddler nook that would will be aria's bedroom when she like ages up to a kid i think i think that would work really well and um, complete with its own um ensuite bathroom in there too lovely little moment coming out here now this is the main kitchen slash living space so the living space goes off onto the lap level there nice little nook in the corner up raised up onto a nice level absolutely for it round here we have got the main master suite so there's like an interconnecting door here into the kind of toddler nursery area here um the dressing room with beautiful views out as well and the main master bedroom complete with their own master suite as well and their own balcony which has got hot tubs sofas sun lounges fire pit the whole bloody shebang darling to be honest with you to be honest with you now we did miss out the butler's area um so we're going to go down and do that as well where is the butler's area um there you are <laughs> like where the hell am i who am I? Here we are. So, and finishing off with the butler's own wing, really. He's got his own little mini kitchen. He's got his own little mini living room, slash sleeping area, bedroom, and little courtyard garden as well, where he can come and chill out. And then through this way here is the kind of guest's bedroom. Kept the guest bedroom. The guest's kind of garden, complete with an outdoor home theatre and a sunken little living room moment. Oh... <sighs> <laughs> bloody hell now i will go from above because you guys do like to see like the floor plans and stuff so this is the floor plans so if you do want to like copy along it stunning that is the wait there we'll start off in the basement so this is the basement floor plan down the bottom ground floor floor plan there and then the first floor floor plan there as well but my lord my loves this has been a moment, isn't it? This has been a bloody moment, this build. But it is finally complete and done. And up on the gallery. Now, I will say, don't forget to put your move object cheat on when you do You put this build down into your game or before you put your build down into the game. Um, and that's it. The Hargroves is complete. I'm going to say bye in this screen as well. I may as well, Jarlins. We're with the Hargroves house for the last time. So, yes. Um, as I said, on the gallery, search under the hashtag as well. Devon Bump, can you be able to find it pretty easily? And I'll be back tomorrow with a speed build. The video tomorrow is probably going to be coming out quite late because I've still yet to finish the speed build. Um, so the video will be coming out a lot later tomorrow than normally scheduled. But I'm going to be live on Twitch tonight as well. 7 p.m. GMT building in The Sims if you do want to come along. But if not, I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.